started. Happy International Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Today is February 8th for me. So, um, by the time you see this be past Women's Day, but just so you know that I did wish you a happy Women's Day. Yay. Happy, happy International Women's Day. Then this morning, he called me and said, Happy Women's Day to me and Nadine. <laughs> I thought that was so nice. So just in case no one wish you a happy Women's Day and you're a woman, I wish and hope that you have a good day rather you hear me tell you or you don't send it out the energy that you do. square pieces. So let me start out putting out my moisturizer. L'Oreal Collagen. I hope you had a good weekend. But the weekend just passed. Listen to music one day. And my daughter came to me and said, Mom, I found a good show. I'm on the first episode. And she said she stopped the show. She was like, you know what? I got to tell my mom about this. And we started watching it together. Turns out the show was absolutely good. It's a good show, real good. I'm gonna use a little bit of my wrinkle vanishing up here on my forehead. This is by Olay. Now I'm gonna use the shine killer by NYX. show first started out it was this family all sitting around the table and they were showing basically politics and um, they were showing how 
years and years and years and years was basically going by but the family was still sticking together holding it down together so when I first started Understood. And I probably talk about the show again, but in a different scenario. So I'm not going to talk too much about the details of the daughters.
mother died and she raised them but whenever something was going on they all met up at the Graham's house and the grandmother um, she had a, a, a mouth water <laughs> she would say some things that was just not a She didn't have like no issue with the fact that her grandchildren were biracial and she wasn't like mean racist or nothing like that. Like she didn't accept, like she accepted the uh, the black wife. Now the wife was not. Um, her name is Celeste. And her husband, husband name is Stephen. Okay, I don't want to get in like like I said. I don't want to really start talking about like the whole family, but. around the family and it just seemed like they had themselves together as far as like taking care of each other taking care of the children and they both agreed that they had like some problems with the oldest child there was always some um, constantly worried about her behavior as far as like not interacting and not talking too much or not just making sure her mental was like okay I think that's mostly what they worried about when it came to her at the whole family was at 
they start hearing sirens go off everywhere and they was thinking that the sirens was going off because they were going to be hit by a missile so they all start running in the house to look at the news to see what was going on saying over $85,000 well, was not insured. It was only insured up to $85,000. Now, I think I was shocked because earlier in the show, they were talking about selling the house. I think the house was like $2.5 million. And they were going to downsize because it was something going on with democracy and jobs and stuff like that. Celeste kind of bumped his like maybe about five or six times. 
also show in the show how the grandmother and Celeste try to like make up with each other, hug each other, even though it was awkward. Because they definitely didn't get along. They didn't fight, fight, but they had words. Sometimes harsh words with each other. into the bank and the wife was right behind him they both was at the bank at another scene right and they was talking about the plan of what they was going to tell the bank why they wanted to get all their money out the bank and the crazy part is uh It's like, talking about getting all their money in the bank, they have, how much they say they have, I think, uh, 2.1 million, or either 1.1 million, something like that, they had over a million dollars in the bank, a lot of money, and I was surprised, like, I was, like, shocked that they had that much money in the bank, Zach know me. Of course, I don't care. 
if they know you, you get in line or you leave or basically you're going to be arrested. And it looked like it was like ready to, um, the first time I saw Steven, personality was right there at that bank. Like he was about to get aggressive with the security guard. Like he didn't care what the security guard was talking about. Aesthetica eyeshadow. This was sent to me by Try It, by a Make Sell It. It's real pretty. But I'm just going to use one color in it. I'm going to be using this color right here. It's nice and soft. I think it's going to blend in nice with the next color that I'm going to use. security guard threatening his butt he wasn't really trying to back down but then the lady comes out the bank and she tells everybody that she's sorry but they have to close the door it's over child they closed that door people started going freaking crazy Stephen looked like his heart fell out his freaking chest. Do you hear me? He went to one side of the bank and he was along with the crowd banking on the window. And his wife was on another side of the bank. And everybody was screaming. People were out there saying, You can't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. My money's in that bank. security guard that was about to whip Stevens behind screaming and hollering telling them yeah I got my money let me in let me in even all the guards that was out there that was dealing with them they even took their money like they closed the door the banks were over it was over they took everybody's money and if you had money in the bank it was only insured up to $85 $85 like I said before and I'm sure they didn't get it right away, you know what I'm saying? Now the wife and Steven started, like, having issues because basically they didn't know what they was going to do. Like, what was they supposed to do with no money? So I guess immediately they knew that they had to, like, try to sell the house. So they packed up the house, child. <laughs> they packed up the house. house, the two girls, Stephen and the wife, Celeste, my next color I want to use is this pretty color, and this is inside the Nui, I think it's called, what it's called, Nui, Nui, and I'm going to use this color right here, I'm going to use the same brush, Like, prime minister and it 
looked like they was going to announce that she, you know, was winning. And the grandmother took the remote, took the remote control and she was like, click, turn the TV completely off right at the part where everybody was about to go, yeah. And she's like, I know y'all don't mind. I said, oh my God, I felt out. I felt like she did that. Like that was like vindication for her to turn that TV off knowing that Celeste was deep into it. house that he was talking to and I was like what he doing at her house Child. next thing you know they were making love they was getting it and I think I was shocked at that moment because it looked like him and his wife wasn't even on the verge of divorce or anything like that they were arguing disagreement with each other and she was like I would say Celeste was very traditional she let the husband 
purposely run the money. You know what I mean? Like, she ain't ask no questions or nothing like that. Really 
said when he left the house that morning she broke down she really cried she was hurt to find out that her husband was having a fear on her but she didn't say anything to nobody she kept it to herself scenes went by, episodes went by, as time went on, she started like checking out some of the stuff he do, she found out where the girl lived at, she went by the girl house, all that, but she didn't know, um, like approach them and nothing like that. She didn't say nothing, like she literally was just being silent about it. She wasn't like even trying to like stop him from having a fear. She basically was just trying to find out everything about it, but not saying anything. So, something was going on, like the husband, I guess for extra money, he signed up for some experiment, some experiment drugs or something that they had created, he signed up for it, and he was talking to his woman, his woman, ex, his side chick was named Elaine, family friend, and she was asking him, she was asking him, is he sure that this experiment is safe, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, I think he was just doing it for money, because the family need the money, you know, they stand with his grandma. experimental the experimental drugs and after they was done with him he had a bad reaction and uh, he, he was sitting on the bed and he was telling the doctor I feel weird I can't stop moving my neck that's what he kept doing I can't stop moving my neck and she was like it's okay it's okay you have It's an epi epilepsy reaction. He's like, you, you're kind of having an epilepsy right now, but it's in a very mild stage because of the, the experimental drugs. He's like, okay, but this is weird. This is weird that I can't stop moving my head. I'm trying everything, but it won't stop. That's what he was doing, right? So the doctor told him, do you, any, do you got anybody you can call to come get you because you can't drive? You can't drive like this. It's dangerous, you know, because you, you have to wait till the drugs wear off for your head to stop moving. Child. I'm going to tell you what this fool did. <laughs> this fool gave them the name of his side chick, Elaine. Yeah, he told them that was his person that could come pick him up. So they contact Elaine to her to come get him. Now, let me tell you the crazy part. Even though he told the doctor um, that he's gonna, he gotta contact, he gonna contact uh, to, uh, his phone to contact Elaine to come get him. I guess the doctor put his phone on the secretary desk outside, the receptionist. And it said contact. 
as the closest kin because he can't drive. Why she put in um, the number to the wife? The wife answered, and she the wife she told the wife that the husband had a reaction to the drugs and that he can't drive. The wife went crazy. She left her body there, hurry up, and went to go pick up her husband.
sometimes two times a day. And then Elaine, tell them that. Tell them that you've been having up there um, this whole time. And she said, I know. That noise that you make, that nasty noise you make, you make it when you was with her while she was effing you, making all that noise. Yeah, I was at the apartment listening to you while you was effing her. I was there. <laughs> oh, she was in his face, and it was just in his face like, say something. Say something so I could pop you right now. And that's how she was in his face. I want you to go ahead. Say something. Say something. Johnny was standing there. And um, she told him. To get out. Go back to the girl. Go stay there. Get out the house. He actually didn't even try to go. 
gonna stay like a little sister or someone else or a brother. He went to her house. He said, forget that, I'm going back to my old house. And that's exactly what he did. Now, let's talk about that for a minute. I was saying in the show, I was saying while I was watching the show, how come she didn't say anything? How come she just let this man continue having to be like the daughters were shocked that the mother even knew that he was having to fear for a whole, a whole freaking year and never said nothing to nobody. Not that she ain't say not one thing. Celeste didn't say nothing because the father, for one, he had the income now. She still was looking for a job staying in the mother house. And two, he lost all their money. And three, they was trying to wait to see if their house was going to get sold. Go. And she wanted to stay at the, the Graham's house so she could continue raising her kids. That's what I'm thinking. She, she just not really allowed him to have an affair. She just but well, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to go out but she just chose to not talk to him about it. Not get on him about it and pretend that everything was okay. She never let up to him that she was upset. She hid it so good. She hid it. It was when he contacted his hoe to come to the hospital instead of her. And that's when she realized, okay, now he don't went too far because now she's starting to do not not just my job in the bedroom, but now she's doing the job on the outside. Now she now they just all out, out in the open with this relationship. So that's when she decided to bring it forth to the children, and she went off on him. Said about her, you know, once you confront a man that's cheating. Like seriously, <laughs> let's be real about it. Most likely, once you confront a man that's cheating, it's out in the open now. You don't have nothing to hide. So if he fell out of love with you or he's not committed to his family or loyal to his family like a man should be, he's probably going to hop out and he's going to be with the woman he's been sleeping with. That's exactly what happened. He took his bill right to that woman's house. Now let me tell y'all what happened when he got there. When he got there, he told the lady that everybody know. Everybody know the whole family know. Everybody started calling each other, telling each other that Stephen cheated. And he told her that um his wife knew. She knew everything for a year. She never said anything. And the lady was like, well, no, not the lady, Elaine. Elaine was like, well, you can stay, but in the mornings, I have, I do some stuff in the morning, like some type of exercise or something. And she lived in, like, a studio apartment, and she told him that was her hour for herself to be alone. She told him she get up every morning at 6 and do this exercise, and he like, well, Okay, what you telling me for? She said, well, I don't want you here. He said, what? Why not? She said, because well, I want you steering. And he's like, well, I'll probably sleep. She said, no, you won't be sleep. And um, he told her, he said, well, do I really have to leave at 6? She said, yeah. And he was like, uh, okay. So then he realized that his tail had to get up every morning, 6 o'clock in the morning and leave. She told him he could go get coffee or something. So... Basically, he was a good F buddy, but she was not about to put up with him 24 hours out the day like his wife did. And that's usually what happened once the wife don't want them no more or, the, or they leave the wife and they full time with the side chick. They, they start to get to really know him and it's not as cookies as cream as it was when he was taking his tail home to his wife every night. Now you're stuck with him, him in all his nasty ways. So as some time went on in the 
to show y'all. Oh my god. So let's stay at the house with the grams. And you know, all the children like really became busy in their lives. All the adult children, they was really busy. They wasn't spending as much time with each other or with the grams they usually do. But Celeste was always at the grams house, um, helping her clean up, taking her to the doctor, being her companion, keeping her company. And the grams and Celeste ended up becoming like this. They, they, they started becoming real cool. Like the grams treated her just like if she was her child. I'm telling you. And um, the Rams, they got together for, I guess, like a holiday dinner, a traditional dinner, whatever they got together for. I can't remember. But, child, uh, why Steven show up? Show up like all the children did, but his hoe sitting beside him. Why he still with his wife. She's sitting right there next to him at the dinner table. Jack, Jack, believe it. And Celeste was just looking. She was staring at him. She was staring at Elaine. And I, I thought it was going to be a fight, girl, but it wasn't no fight. The girl was still there, sitting at the dinner table with, with her husband in front of the kids. No shame or nothing. No shame. It was just like, even though she had no shame, I kind of was like embarrassed for her. I was like, oh my God, this is disgusting. I said, yeah, Celeste is definitely, um, Celeste is definitely from another end of a spectrum for me because, let me tell you something, girl. I wouldn't have been sitting at that table with him and his hoe. And it's so crazy because when people cheat, they don't have no consideration for the person that they cheating on. They don't feel no obligation towards them. They don't feel no moral ob obligation. They don't feel the hurt, the humiliation, the pain that they feel. They don't care. They just don't care. I was like, whoa, Stephen playing his part because he's definitely a prime example of uh, people that cheat and, and about the relationship. It's like, it's as if you never had a relationship with him. His daughter's at the table and he, he, he don't even see the wrong that he doing. Not even setting examples for his daughters. Like, how are they going to allow their husbands to treat them when they get married? Is it going to be okay to do what their father did to their mother? Child. And, and it goes on like that today. Women get cheated on. Men get cheated on. And they be with the other party. And they forget how much they love that person. How much that person did for them. How much that person stuck with them. They don't care. They don't care. They, they just don't care about nothing but the person that they started cheating with. That's all they care about is their feelings, concern about how they feel and what they got going on. Child, I couldn't do it. I don't know how Celeste would. I think me and my daughter Nadine was sitting here. We were shocked that she was putting up with that man, doing that to her. And then while they at the table discussing something, that Elaine had the nerve to open up her mouth like, girl, you already look like a hoe. Shut up and don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. She's sitting at the table, want to include herself in the conversation. Child. I was like, oh my God. And then the next event that they had, Celeste decided to go out with her youngest daughter because the other one had a job. They was growing up now. Like years done passed, job. Years not passing, he's still with Elaine. So, Celeste was gonna go out drinking with her daughter. Her daughter was gonna buy her a bottle of wine. I think they were celebrating New Year's or something like that. But, and the grandmother had made all this food buffet for everybody that was coming. But 
it's a less to work respectfully. She's not going to be there. She don't want to be a part of the, like, family events if the lady got to be there. And, and I was with Celeste, for real. I was definitely with her. I didn't agree with that either. And, um, Celeste was staying with the grandmother along with her kids. So, um, as time went on, the Lady Elaine was definitely a part of the family now. Stephen was definitely with her. He did the same thing his father did. The same exact thing.
in the world and not feel so much of the difference of who they are with their mostly Caucasian family. Then the father them went out and cheated on the mother with a white woman. He had no remorse about it at all. He didn't even he didn't even go like try to stay with family and try to like fix things with the wife, try to like, you know, get help and maybe if they could So, literally, with barely nothing, once a man is basically done with the relationship, I got a necklace that I bought a long while ago. I think I actually bought this from Rainbows. Let me see. It don't say, but I think that's where I bought it a long time ago. Oh, girl. <laughs> this go beyond. Celeste was okay and she was working and she had money or something put up aside and a place to go she would have said something she would have stopped him from having that appear on her without um, telling her she, she just let him disrespect her for over a year since his women's day at purple 
towards the color but women's damage is this pretty purple color and it's called Lux Lack it's called Lack and again our girl try it buy it make it sell it send it to me it's real pretty strong and independent and by yourself you could be strong independent and still be in a relationship and be in a marriage without depending completely and solely on the man to do 100% everything and put you in a position where you have nothing if he opt out oh okay I got it
You came to the night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but it's gonna feel out of day. We can tingle right away. Now I'm here.